What's up, everybody? This is Sean Turnage, and this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing. Um, I made a video about a couple days ago called Past Knowledge, and I felt I had to do a follow-up video to this for, from that video because I had to look back at that video and just think. And here's what I'm getting at. A lot of people I've heard say they wish they could take their present knowledge and go to the past and change it so they wouldn't make some of the mistakes that they made. And honestly, that whole situation right there would just be a strong if. And that, like I said, what I say is not universal. But just think long and hard if this video ever gets out, because I know a lot of people didn't watch past knowledge or any of my videos. And I'm not, and I'm not, Making these videos for other people. I'm making them for myself. But that's not what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at is. Even if you took what you knew now. And took it to the past. You may have changed. You may have stayed the same. You may have even done worse. What I'm getting at is. It's a strong if. As if. You would have changed as a person. That's all I'm getting at. That's all I'm getting at. That's all I'm going to repeat. It's a strong if. You don't necessarily know if you would have changed. And I know a lot of people, if this video ever gets out, sit, will sit there and go, I know I wouldn't have done this. I know I wouldn't have done that. Maybe some things you wouldn't have done. Maybe some things you would have done. Maybe some things you would have stayed the same. It's a strong if. Because everybody's different. And, you know, I can get into a few, you know, examples of how maybe you would have changed, how maybe you would have stayed the same, how you would have made things worse. But that's, you know, a little lengthy. And I know I'm not trying to really bore myself in the future. But let's put it like this. Once you do something, it immediately becomes past. There's no undoing it. So, what am I getting at here? So, it immediately becomes past. There's no undoing that mistake. And, you know, I'm going to get into, like, maybe one good example. The butterfly effect with Ashton Kutcher. You know, he went back and started rewriting, you know, his past. And things became even worse, you know. Some things got a little better. Some things got worse. In the end, he found his solution. But what I'm getting at is you don't necessarily know what you would have done differently, even with that present knowledge to past knowledge. You know what I'm saying? You really don't necessarily know. And I know a lot of people really wish they could undo some of their mistakes, but you may have turned around and made a different mistake that's similar. And you go, well, I just learned th that from myself and I still made the same mistake. We all make mistakes. The point of them is to grow and learn from them and, you know, share with others on how not to make the mistakes that you made. But maybe you would have became a better person or maybe you would have just stayed the same. But you don't necessarily know. It's a strong if. That topic is a strong if. That's all I'm getting at. And that's all I'm going to leave you with is you don't necessarily know what would happen if you took your present knowledge to the past to try and not make some of the mistakes that you made. So with that being stated, this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing. And this is Past Knowledge Part 2. Signing out. Thank <laughs> you.